so I don't need to prepare it again. And I'm going to get this out of the bowl. And I'm going to do that process one more time. Where you roll it and tuck it in. One last time. Nice and smooth. So the roll, the part that I rolled on the table, that's going to be my bottom side. So I'm going to let it release into my vanity. And you're just going to let it rest there for 30 or so minutes. Once it has rested for 30 minutes, it's not going to be as tight. You see all these gluten fibers that it's started to produce? Once it has rested for 30 minutes, what you're going to do is you're going to get your loaf you're going to pinch these edges. You're going to bring it, right now it's not as, it's not as relaxed, but what you're going to do is you're going to bring it and you're going to tuck in all the edges of your load to tighten the fiber. You're basically creating memory for your bread and you're telling it to stay this way. So whenever it comes into the oven, it doesn't just kind of open up on you. You're basically tightening all the fiber, uh, the, the gluten fiber. Tighten. You can see it won't give me any more right there, so I know I'm done. So it'll look a little bit more uniform than if I just left it. And then cover it with your magic saran wrap and you put it in the fridge, let it ferment overnight, and you're ready to bake the next day.